happy Christmas YouTube. It's uh, December the 25th and it's quarter to 12. I've come up here with Jimmy, our lad, because his mum's working and uh, we're going to cook our own Christmas dinner in the bush. We've got a bit of fillet steak and some sausages again with some mushrooms. going to fry them up and have some baked potatoes and uh, we want to give a little shout out to all the people who are working on Christmas Day. So we're going to get set up in a minute and uh, we'll come back to you. Who needs a chainsaw? Oh, he's just poking up the fire. That's not a pile of wood, that's a fire. Yes. I see that now. I don't know. I'm going to do an upside down fire again. I've got a couple more and Vaseline, a couple of wood shaving and wax balls to start it off. Got some small tinder over there, small kindling. So I'm going to start it off with a ferro rod. Kettle won't be long before it's boiled. I think many of you know I'm a big fan of the upside down fire. Doesn't seem to be as much preparation involved in uh, like learning how to split the wood down and make feather sticks and all that sort of stuff. Still have to use a bit of kindling. Someone was saying the other day on YouTube that it was nice to see someone use a match to light a fire with. Well, it doesn't matter whether you use a match, a lighter, I carry a zip all the time because I'm a smoker, or, um, or use a ferro rod. It's still as hard to get the fire going if you haven't prepared. And as usual, it's blowing towards me. Well, I think that's all set now. The kettle's coming up to boil, so we're going to make a nice brew, the, uh, the usual coffee, and we'll get back to you later when we start cooking. Right, we've got the, uh, the gas stove going, wood gas stove going to uh, boil up another brew. We've got some potatoes on here, bacon and foil. I'm going to add the, uh, the meat and mushrooms now. We've got uh, sausages, fillet steak and mushrooms. Put some oil in with them. <laughs> Just gonna cook them up over the coals. Put the lid on. When, uh, when it's ready. Happy Christmas YouTube and happy Christmas to all those people who are out there working today and uh, can't be at home to enjoy dinner with their families. All the best for the new year. Cheers. You want some more Swedish? I'm alright, thank you. Holy sauce radish, this is very strong. Yeah, 
definitely need to cut things up so, so that they don't go all over the place when you're eating. That's the steak like. Soft as a Did you bring the crackers? No. Oh. That would have proved it's Christmas Day today. It is Christmas Day. Oh well. I'll tell you what's going to prove it's Christmas Day. Happy Christmas. Oh, thank you. Is this an unwrapping though? This is an unwrapping. A yeah, Christmas present unwrapping this. I, um, I didn't have time to put the handle on. I'm going to take it back off you later and uh, over the next day or two I'm going to put a proper oak handle on it. It's very first ferro rod. <laughs> you can't, can't be a bushman without a ferro rod. Thank you very much for your presence in the post. Ah, good. And of course there's no post today, is there? Ah, <laughs> oh, I forgot that there. Right, YouTube, that's us all packed up. We've uh, cleared up, scooped the leaves back over everything, made sure the fire was out, of course, and uh, we're all ready to, now to go home, edit this, and put it up on YouTube because we want to get it up by this evening to see if we're the first ones to get a film on on Christmas Day. It's a challenge, I know, but. Uh, it's one we can rise to, isn't it? Oh, yes. So once again, happy Christmas to everyone. And remember everyone who's out at work or serving in our armed forces around the world. And the police, the fire service, nurses, everyone who've had to work today and not had a nice time like we have. Have you had a nice time, Jim? Very nice time. Nice, nice bit of food. Warm. Huh? Nice and warm as well. Nice and toasty, as you should be. It's not about roughing it, it's about doing it right, innit? See you all later, folks. Happy New Year. <laughs>